thanks for meeting up with me. I should be the one saying the thank you. I saw you considered my offer. I did. Why should I say no? So your budget is 17 million, according to the list you sent to me. Yes, so what do you say about it, Dave? Am I going to get the money? Yeah, I will write you a check so you can go over to the bank and withdraw it, if that's fine with you. Thank you, Dave. I really appreciate it. Does this mean you are going to consider my offer? You know the answer is still no. This money is my compensation money for crying after you left me for two years. That's fine with me. I will pay it all. If that will let you forgive me. I will think about it, but don't count on it. I knew it, babe. Although you told me you are forgiving me. I know you were not being sincere about it one single bit. We just be Spontaneous. Where are you going to, princess? For my internship training, Richard. Stop acting as if you don't know. I don't want you going anywhere today. I need you to stay at home today. Baby, I have to go. You don't need to go, princess. I already told you that no matter how you study, you are going to end up being a full housewife. A full-time mother to my kids. Richard, I really don't want to argue with you this morning. Plus, I'm not even in the mood. Neither am I in the mood, princess. You are staying at home today until I decide that you go out. Richard, Richard, what are you doing? You are staying indoors today, baby, and that's fine now. Come on, baby, please now. You know there's a score for my internship training. You are with your phone. Call them that you are not coming. Richard, please open the door. Richard, Richard. <laughs> Baby girl, good afternoon. Why didn't you come to the hospital today? Nothing really. I'm just kind of tired. Why is your voice sounding like that? Are you sleeping? Yes, I was asleep when your call came in. You know how I love to sleep a lot. Are you sure about that? Because it seems like you have been crying. Did he hurt you? No, Richard didn't hurt me. I'm fine, Ada. I'm good. I hope you are not lying to me. You know you can tell me anything, right? I know. I'm just tired. Believe me, Ada. I'm stressed out. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm actually in front of a restaurant waiting for Josh to show up. So I decided to call you before he comes. He didn't go to the hospital today. Don't tell me you're becoming lazy. I went. Check the time now. It's afternoon already. I'm on my lunch break. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But well, make sure to have fun, girl. And say hello to him. I'll do just that. And you better get your sleepy ass up and come to the hospital tomorrow. Yes, ma. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Just make sure you're fine. Ada. I just saw Josh. Princess, we'll talk later. See you. <laughs> I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long under the sun. You didn't. I don't even know why I didn't enter inside the restaurant. Didn't enter because you are talking to your lover on the phone. You think I didn't see you? <laughs> Jealousy. Anyways, that was Princess. I was just checking up on her. She doing? I hope she's fine now. She told me she's fine, but I think she's actually lying to me. You know, she sounded like she was crying to me. You are going to check on her. Maybe, but not now. I just wish she had listened to me back then and aborted the baby. It's clean and innocent child. That is really wrong. I know it's wrong, but then she wouldn't be in this mess if only she had listened. What are you going to do about it? Oh my, you won't believe who just walked into the restaurant. Who is that? One of your numerous lovers? I've told you, you are the only one I have in my life. Anyways, it's Brenda, my best friend's lover. Is she here with Eddie? She's here with a guy. I mean, the same guy she claimed to be a business partner. Just look over the other. Look at the way they are talking and laughing. So, what's wrong with all of that? It might just be a friend. This guy is more than a friend, you know. And I told Zeddy that this girl is not good for him. But he's so much in love with her that he doesn't listen. Why would you say that to someone in the first place? How can you say his lover is not good enough for him? But that's the truth. Do you know what this lady does to Zed? Like, she's always bullying him. Okay, but that's not bad. He's a lover, right? I see you are taking side with this lady. I'm not, but I think he's Zed's relationship and life. So please, stop me. You know what? Let's focus on us. You can't keep doing this, Susan. For how long do you intend on keeping my phone and locking me in the house? For as long as it takes, Richard. Cause I know if I open the door, you are not going to think twice before traveling. I have a life beyond you and the four walls of this house. I know, babe, but I just want you here with me. But I'm always here with you, Susan. Please, I really need to go out this night. You can't go out, Richard, and please don't break down my door. Why are you doing this to me? Treating me like an errand boy, wanting to control me every time. Why? Baby, this is different. I just want you around me. I just need to go and fix something outside. I promise that I'll be back soon. I don't
don't believe you, Richard. I know you are going to board out of the house. I really can't do this anymore with you. I have an important stuff to attend to. I'll pay you whatever they plan to pay you there. Is it another project? Why are you doing this, really? You caused this, Richard. I told you not to travel. But then you left the house all of a sudden for weeks. This is because I have to work. I want to work and make my own money. So you won't have to be pushing me around. Do you remember our last date? You said you'll be here for me. But after staying at home for a week, you left only to return today. Baby, you're not going anywhere today. Okay, you know what? Let me have my phone back so I can make some calls. No, you are not having them. Your two stars have started calling you, right? How many did you book an appointment with today? Shut up! It's Princess! Hey babe, how far? Ada, hello, are you busy? No, I'm not busy. I'm at Josh's house, but I'm about to leave the house. I need your help, Ada. What happened? Why are you crying, princess? Can you please come over to my house and open the door for me? What? What are you saying? Isn't the door opened or did you misplace your key? Just come over, please. Richard locked me inside the house because he didn't want me to go out. I don't know what's wrong with him. Oh my god, he locked me inside the house. Is he mad? Please come over and help me out, Ada. I'm on my way. What is wrong with Richard? What is wrong? What happened? He's a psycho. Are you coming with me? Of course I am. Princess, are you okay over there? Yes, Adam, I'm fine. Do you think you guys can open the door? Yes. Josh is already trying to open the door from here. Just make sure you stay back from the door. Do you hear me? Yes, I've heard you. Thank you so much. Princess, are you okay? Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Josh, thanks a lot. Thank you. How could you let Richard lock you in the house? Is that what he has been doing all along? No, he hasn't done this before. Josh, I'm sorry I had to drag you over here. It's okay. I think you shouldn't stay here overnight. She's definitely not going to stay here. Have you had anything to eat? Nothing. I just want to get away from here. Can you take me to my mom's place, please? Of course, I'll go with you. Do you ladies need me to drive you over there? There's no need for that, Josh. You have done more than enough for me already. We'll find our way there. Princess, you need some food to eat before you faint. <laughs> Princess, Ada. Mommy, good evening, ma. Good evening, ma. I am surprised to see you here. Why are you here by this late hour of the night? And why are you crying? Mommy, I know I disappointed you by getting pregnant. But I'm really sorry. What are you doing here? Mommy, it's Richard. He's not who he seems to be. He treats me badly and refuses to let me go for my internship training. He said I shouldn't go to school anymore. That doesn't still answer the question. Why are you here, princess? Mommy, I told you already. Richard treats me back and I want to come back home. You can't stay here tonight. Go back to Richard's place. Please, mom, don't do this. I can't go back there. Please, ma, don't send her back there. He locked her inside the room and went out. So he locks you inside the room. Is that not what you wanted for yourself? No, mom, I didn't want all of this for myself. How can Richard be locking you up at home, princess? Just take a good look at yourself. Is this what you want for yourself? But like, I don't want any of this anymore. I don't even want the baby. You don't want the baby. So what do you want to do now? Kill the baby. I'll kill the baby if it makes you forgive. Me. I didn't tell you kill the baby princess and I will never advise you to do that. Anyways, you can't sleep under my roof. Follow her dad to her house. Please mommy, please ma. Please don't chase her away. I didn't chase her. I said she should follow you home. Give her a place to sleep at your house or will your mother not agree to it? I'm sure she knows princess is pregnant already. Please ma. Can you see? Even your friend doesn't want you to follow her home. Why is it that you children don't listen? You think you know it all because you are now above 20. So you can do what you like, right? That's not true mommy. Shut up. Look at you now. It's still my place you're back to. See, once Richard is back from wherever I went to, you follow him home and walk things out because you can't stay under my roof pregnant. Thank you, man. Hey, man. I just got to the house. How is she, Timmy? Is she okay? Anyways, she's not in the house. I think she must have stepped out. She's not in the house. Spontaneous. I know I've offended you, ma. But I'm really sorry about everything. Offended me? You didn't offend me, Richard. This princess, you offended. So I think you should plead with her instead. I don't want to talk to you, Richard. And I'm not going back to that house. Baby, please. I promise you that I will do better. I will never do it again. Are you hearing him? He said he will not do it again. He said he will not lock inside the house like an animal again. Ma, I didn't lock her like an animal. What did you do, Richard? You know, I don't even blame you, Richard. It's princess I blame. Because I expected more from her. Please, ma, I'm truly sorry. I won't do it again. Don't beg me beg your princess you know i wasn't there when you both started the relationship so you two should settle yourselves
Baby, please now. I'm sorry. I'm not going back with you, Richard. Just leave me alone, please. You know I love you, princess. You know you are the only one I have in my life. You just tell me what I need to do right, and I'll work hard to do it. Richard. Please, baby. Please, I will do better, I promise. Spontaneous.